we have a 2010 Suzuki Grand Vitara. The problem is when you turn the blower, as you can see, I'm turning the dial, but there is nothing coming from the vent. The vent is absolutely dead. Nothing from the vent. What I've done, I've I'm going to proceed to check to see if the air conditioned compressor is coming on and the fans that cools the radiator and the condenser if they are working. If they are working, that tells me that the air conditioned system is working. The only problem I am having is with the blower. So we're going to proceed to check the air conditioned compressor and check the fans. Start the engine please. All right, we're going to turn the air condition on. The air condition is on. There's no... Okay, AC on. Let's look and see. I hear it clicks in. Check the fans. Okay, the compressor clutch is in. The fans are blowing. So, it's only a problem with the blow. All right. Turn the engine off. Okay, the power stage of the blower is located right here. This provides the grounds for the blower motor. So, we're going to check to see if there is Positive power going to the blower motor and negative going to the blower motor which should allow the blower motor to turn. If there is an absence of the negative then we'll proceed to check this which is the power stage which supplies the negative for the motor. Alright. Turn the ignition on please. Alright this is my grounds for my test light. It's not a very good one but it works all right that is my power so this red with black streak should be my grounds all right i proceed now i have power here i am sure so i'm going to clip onto my blue with white which is my power and the blower is on high it's on high increasing and there is nothing happening here there is no so there is no grounds so this is telling me that now i have a problem with my power stage so there's two screw here one here which holds this in phillips head remove and this is the power stage normally people throw this away but in both the honda and this week I find that sometimes they can be repaired quite easily just a few components inside not much you just flip the tab right there there's another one to the side you flip it right there all right this is what it looks like on the inside now there's a fet there but there's a thermal resistor right here it blows from time to time it goes bad can be changed or it can be bridged out if it is the source of the problem so we put our meter on the ohm scale and we do a continuity check across this thermal resistor as you can see there is nothing happening on my meter it's dead so this thermal resistor right here is shot so we're gonna bridge this thermal resistor and that should rectify this problem it's the same on the honda as well on upcoming videos we'll show you how to change the fet and numbers which you can get part numbers for the fet that will work in space of these because it's not easy to get back these numbers but they're substitute which you can purchase and they work so we're going to proceed to bridge the thermal resistor and um, see what happens all right we're gonna take it's 
quite easy to remove this just one screw holding it down all right so this is my heat shrink it's the bulk of it this is the one screw which holds it down place it right there and now this is my thermal resistor which is shot one sec let me get a As I said this can be changed but just to show you that this is the source of the problem I'm just going to smash it or I can bridge it it's a bit short so I'll be making a bridge with it you can just solder something across both of them but I'm just going to make a temporary bridge for now just to show you that it works all right so we're gonna proceed to bridging where the thermal resistor was I've disabled it now I'm going to join the circuit with a simple piece of wire okay so here we go put our solder in right there make it nice and firm excuse me John making it nice and firm Making it nice and firm. Let's get this giant nice again. All right. So we have made a bridge across where that thermal resistor used to be. Just going to break off the end. Let me get this out of wiring out of the way. That you guys can have a good view of what's happening so I have disabled the thermal resistor made a bridge right there now we're gonna fit this back into the heat shrink so it's just like that and my my one little screw goes back in place to hold the fat down 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 all right right down so that's a screw to hold my fat down in place get that heat out of that fat all right now all that remains is just this little plastic cover and it's just like that it's clipped it back into place Alright, then we mount our unit back in place, two little screws, one there, one there, and another one there. This is the wire for the blower motor, connect it back. This is the wire for the power stage and the key was already on. So now we have wind coming through, we have wind coming through. We can adjust the, the volume, the speed of the motor we can. We can even turn it off no wind we can turn it back on and start the motor let's get some air conditioning in this thing man it's hot it's hot man 
air conditioned compressors in that wasn't a problem before just wasn't any breeze coming through these vents wow cool so that's one of the possibilities for repairing this unit quite easy cost you nothing cost you zero okay check back on this channel for more japanese repair videos